What are you doing? <laughs> I'm training for our trip across America. <laughs> Aren't we flying? <laughs> It's a map and clues from Frankie Sotolamacchia and family and the Miller family. Shout out to you guys. Let's see what's on the map. There's a dog, there's a ship, there's a armor, there's a rock with numbers on it, and there's a man with a sword. Ooh, and abs. Ooh, uh, that ship is the Mayflower. The Maywater? The Pilgrims? Oh, the Pittsburgh Pilgrims. It's not, it's not hockey, Beck. Oh, it's I get it, I get it. We, we get it, we get it now. It's, it's a baseball. baseball. It's not, okay, this is not about sports. Oh. This is an ancient ship called the Mayflower. The Pilgrims sailed all the way from England to Plymouth, Massachusetts, the New World, under horrible conditions on a ship called the Mayflower because they believed in something called religious liberty, deciding for themselves how they should worship God without government control. And that's something we still have today. Okay. I think I know where to find the ship. Jenny's sister, who told Samantha, who told me that on her vacation, the Mayfire was on the second floor of their hotel. Hmm. They went to Plymouth, Massachusetts. I will take us there. This is sus. Well, this website says that there is a hotel with the Mayflower inside it. This doesn't look right. Are we really going to trust a seven-year-old with our travel plans? I'm almost eight. Well, Texas to Massachusetts is almost 2,000 miles away. Could be fun. Is this really where the Mayflower is? There's only one way to find out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It is antique, yes. Yeah. <laughs> the quality of life was simple. We wanted you to get a taste of the pilgrim life. Why? <laughs> Down the stairs. Much faster. Are you sure we do? The stairs are gonna lead us? Does that smell? Salt water. Salt water? Salt water. Wait, is this a real Mayflower? Possibly. I don't know how that's possible, but is this it? Yeah, let's go in. Shirt and shoes required. Mayflower! What? what? Ava, you brought us all the way across America for a pool? According to our map, this is the spot for item three. This is the Plymouth Patuxet, how do you say it? Patuxet. Patuxet Museum. The items that we're looking for here is this, it looks like a, an armor and it looks like this sort of leather doll, Indian doll, okay. some sort of antique doll here. We found it. Again, this is not exactly what we're looking oh, look for. At that. <laughs> we're looking for something a little bigger. Oh, it's a little big toy. This is a ship in actual water, not pool water, not actual water. That. We yes. found it. Yes, we need found to find it. that. We That's, found it. No, we need to get on it. Okay. <laughs> you can't get on a TV. This way to the Wampanoaga home site. I don't know why they call it Patuxet. We thought it would be French sounding like Patouze. Maybe a dinosaur escape. There's no di this is not a dinosaur museum. Come please. Come or on. maybe a giant chipmunk with no legs escape. <laughs> How do you escape? <laughs> Very slowly, yeah, you roll away. The cooking arbor. 
What are you cooking? So I'm making a dish called masam. So it's kind of like oatmeal. My brother thought it was barbecue. <laughs> no. I thought it was chipmunk. Mm, chipmunks aren't really gonna get you any meat, but no, it's kind of like an oatmeal. So it's got berries and nuts in it. Would you eat what she's cooking? No. Kind of. I would eat one skin. <laughs> Depends on how hungry she is. Yeah. She'll eat anything. There's so much animal skin. I think Ava, come here. Come here, this way. Daddy. Daddy. That's it, Ava, hon, look, come here. I found it, I found it. An Indian doll, look. You sure did, Ava. Cool. It's like the exact one. It is the exact one, almost. I say that counts. Yeah, okay. This structure is called Weetu, so this would be a Wampanoag family's winter home. So you live here in the winter time um, with your whole extended family, like 12 to 15 people. So Can you imagine many. putting 15 people in here? Ooh, that would be crowded. Would you live in there, Eva? What? This bed. Hey, would you live in there? Yeah. No. You yeah. wouldn't? I need electronics. I don't think that there's a uh, USB choice. plug in there. You wouldn't have a choice. Okay. We found the Indian doll. It was pretty oh. successful. Good eye, Ava. Good eye. And we just need the, I think it's a pilgrim's armor. Some sort of armor that came over oh, with door. them from England. What are we looking at here? We are looking for... No, what are we looking at? What is this? We're looking this? at a house. We're looking at a house? Yes. This looks like a fort. I think we're looking for this in here. Well, okay. Daddy! The, the, it is a fort? The armor! Oh, yes. That is the armor. Look at that. One. Hey, that's pretty close. Look. It very much is. I said we got it. We got it. I don't know, baby. This is, was built to defend. Mm -hmm. Settlement is also used for court cases in a place of worship. Look at that. Those, those are beautiful. How are you? Hi. Oh, fire. You can come in all the way if you'd like to. Yeah. It's not a day that is cold as it has been, but you still warm up by the fire. <laughs> I started soaking these peas last night to just boil into a pottage for our dinner today. Do you have a knife in your pocket? Oh, it's not in my pocket. It's just uh, I've got it hanging from my girdle just in the event that I have need of it. Every house has their own garden in the back. So they get to till, they've been assigned a plot of land and they all get to work it for their food. Yep. <laughs> Something's happening here. Uh oh. Oh yay! Oh yay! Upon this day, the Honorable Captain Standish has ordered that there is to be an exercise of arms. For our militias are the protectors of our colony and is most needful for any lad over the age of 16 and under the age of 16 to participate. For our exercise, we shall hold a new custom. Any lad or lass over the age of seven shall be able to participate in our exercise of arms. If thou wish to participate, we're asking upon you to raise upon your hand. My kids are no fun, so I'm gonna be fun. I don't want to do it. Come on, hey! Left hand turn! March! By your hip! I think Dad said he's accomplished something great today. He's joined the military. I think the little girl has better form. God save King Charles! God, God save, the save the king! When your pike has been collected, you are dismissed! I think I've just pledged allegiance to something. I don't no. join something. What did you learn today? I learned yeah. that they use pikes for weapons. Pikes for weapons? I used pikes for weapons. Yeah. Ava, what did you learn today? I learned that they don't have. They do not have good food. They just have to get oak in it and wood in it and berries that might be poisonous in it. Did you see anyone eating oak and wood out there? No. <laughs> We've learned that they were very tough and committed to being here. Yeah. They were a lot tougher than we are. Oh, definitely. And a lot more resourceful. Oh! Necessity creates um, what is that word? What is the thing? Necessity is the mother of invention. Yeah. Yes. So they had to figure out yeah. how to make things work here. Oh, 
that's the statue of William Bradford. Okay, guys, what have we seen so far? We've seen um, armor. Armor and a conyessa and um, and <laughs> Not a conyessa, okay? It's called an Indian doll. Look, we've got three more things to find here. Uh -huh. So we were pretty successful at the Living Museum. Okay. Yes. Actually, I think that we've got two things that the, we can see here in the, the area. with numbers and Mayflower. Wow. Over here, we've got like Hallmark Town. Everything looks like picture perfect. Over Wait. here, we've got the sea and the harbor. Let's go exploring. Do you know what this is? No. Beck, do you know what this is? No. Come see. No, it's not the Lincoln Memorial. I can see the resemblance. <laughs> Numbers. It is a big rock with numbers. It used to be a lot bigger. People used to come with chisels and hammers and take souvenirs. As big as this space? Yes. And that's why you've got it caged off now? Yes. Okay. Good Good call. See? You can see the thing. Yeah. That's right. Except please, for the Ava, please don't drop that. Will we ever see the rock again? The rock is right there. Not that rock. You know the rock. Uh, Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Dwayne the, the Rock wrestler, Johnson. The wrestler, the rock. What are you talking about? Are we ever going to see him in person? I don't know. This is Plymouth Rock. <laughs> Not Dwayne Not the Rock. Not the rock. <laughs> What was the numbers on six, the rock? 1620. 1620. We have found the Mayflower. I'm gonna skip a stone, Daddy. Ava? You wanna hold on, let her skip the stone. Yeah. That oh, ain't skipping a stone. That's there it wow. is. I kinda wanna be like I'm I'm Jack Sparrow. You are so weird. I'm not weird. Becky. A lot of people would agree with me. Other than the sails not being up, that's an exact match. Let's go explore the ship. There they are. These are the people that rode it. They're very flat. Yes, very flat and scared. She's a little, she don't like him. So this is where they would have stayed for 60 days when the pilgrims came over on the Mayflower. 100 people in here. A cannon, Dad? Yep. Got to have a cannon. Ooh. This is where they kept supplies? What do they keep in here? All of their personal belongings, all their furniture, all their supplies. Cargo. Uh, all the tools, all the weaponry, everything you're going to need to build and to defend the town once you arrive. I think we're in, is this the captain's quarters? I think so. This is the wheel. This is the ship's wheel. It is? Yes. That's as far as I understand. It's just a stick. And there's some low, it lower to the ground too, I think. Nothing's in it. I guess this is where the captain stayed. He got to have a fancy dinner. So we're standing on the Mayflower 2, Two the replica, replica of the ship that the pilgrims came over on. Mm -hmm. They spent how many days? 66, 66 days, but, but they had to live on this boat through the winter and the spring while they built structures. Six or seven months? Mm -hmm. Okay. And all. With 102 people? Yes. And chickens? And goats. And goats. And pigs. And, pigs. and dogs. This is how the pilgrims came. Where they landed. This is where they landed. This is how they lived. And this, this is what they stood for. Oh! This is the National Monument to the Forefathers. Okay. Guys, guys. Yes. This is a clue. He has a knife in his hand. That's not a knife, that's more like a paddle. This is a national monument to the forefathers, erected by grateful people in remembrance of their labors, sacrifices, and sufferings for the cause of civil and religious liberty. He's got a sword, and look, he's got chains that are broken, shackles that are broken, and this is the Liberty statue. Someone valued what the pilgrims did enough to build this monument to them. Yeah because we are still reaping the benefits of what they did. Morality, Morality is holding the Ten Commandments because that's the basis of our moral law. Then that's faith right there. And what she's got, Beck, 
is the Bible. She's got the Bible, and I read that, see those pages are blown open? Yeah. That's the Holy Spirit blowing those pages open, oh, helping you understand them, guiding you. She's facing where they came from. She is, they're facing. And then Ooh. she's pointing to their future. She's actually pointing to the rest of the country. Thus, out of small beginnings, greater things have been produced by his hand that made all things of nothing and gives being to all things that are. And as one small candle may light a thousand, so the light here kindled hath shone unto many, yea, in some sort to our whole nation. Let the glorious name of Jehovah have all the praise. You hear that, America? You hear that? You hear me? You hear that? Yeah! <laughs> Great. I think they all heard us. I think um, everybody in a 100 mile radius just heard. You hear that? Mm. This has been an amazing adventure to Plymouth, Massachusetts. We want to shout out Frankie Saltalamachia, yes. Colt Miller, and Levi, Levi Miller. Levi Miller, the Miller family, the Saltalamachia family. They have sent in a lot of the clues we used at Plymouth. And mm -hmm. uh, you guys learned something? Yeah. I learned. Yep. Did I learn? <laughs> we learned to be grateful for the people that came before us and sacrificed their lives to get freedom that we needed. And that to... we get to enjoy oh, today. Yes. yes. We're K-City. And we hope you had an awesome time on Awesome Amazing America. All right. We'll see you next time. Bye.